Reversing procedures are in place to ultimately protect people and mitigate incidents through the safe manoeuvre of the vehicle. The driver should undertake pre-use checks on the vehicle and ensure that all driver visual aids are in good condition and free from defects. Mirrors are to be clear without any cracks, reversing alarms in working order, warning beacons and warning lights in good working condition, and CCTV is displaying correctly on the monitor without any debris on the camera. Only trained and authorised persons are permitted to carry out the reversing manoeuvre. Reversing should be avoided, where possible, through a route risk assessment and only carried out where it is safe to do so. Always ensure you wear your high visibility clothing and keep it clean in order to be seen. The driver will constantly maintain situational awareness to the changing conditions of the environment and on all occasions where safe to do so, will instruct the trained reversing assistant to support the manoeuvre. The driver is ultimately accountable for performing any vehicle manoeuvre as they are in control of the vehicle. Before beginning the manoeuvre, the driver will switch off the radio and lower their window to ensure they can hear any verbal commands clearly. The reversing assistant will signal the driver through the following signals. To begin the manoeuvre, the reversing assistant will raise both arms with palms facing in and arms moving forward and backwards. To stop the manoeuvre, the reversing assistant will raise their right hand with the palm facing the driver with a clear stop signal. It can be easy to become distracted, so ensure you give the manoeuvre your full attention as a driver or as a reversing assistant. When deployed, the reversing assistant will maintain situational awareness throughout the manoeuvre, assessing their surroundings for any hazards that may present themselves, such as vehicles, pedestrians, cyclists, street furnishings which may block their line of sight, and any uneven or broken roads or pavements to avoid a slip, trip or fall. If conditions change, the reversing assistant will make a decision to stop the driver through the use of the agreed signal. Once the assistant has started the manoeuvre, the driver must reverse at a slow pace with the assistant walking along with the vehicle on the pavement. They must always stay in view of the driver while sweeping the area for approaching hazards, which may enter the reversing area, paying particular attention to the immediate space behind the vehicle. The driver must always keep the reversing assistant in their view and reverse at the walking pace of the assistant. If the reversing assistant disappears from view, the driver must stop the vehicle immediately. Take note of the safe working distances, which will be the same as the crush zone covered in the next section. The reversing assistant and driver will constantly monitor their surroundings to determine the crew's behaviour and their movements, being aware of the potential risk of crush zones. The crush zone is the area immediately to the side of the vehicle and at the rear. Recommended distances for the reversing assistance are to remain a distance of 5 metres behind and 1 metre to the side. This prevents being crushed between the vehicle and a stationary or fixed object, such as a wall or car, whilst the procedure is in operation. If a hazard presents itself, the reversing assistant will turn to the vehicle and instruct the driver to stop immediately. The reversing assistant should stand at least 5 metres back from the rear of the vehicle and in such a position that eye contact can be maintained with the driver in either the near or offside mirror so that the driver can see them at all times. Where a reversing manoeuvre cannot be avoided, for example in cul-de-sacs and dead-end roads, complete the full manoeuvre in reverse and then drive forwards, stopping at each collection point. Any loading must be completed when the vehicle is stationary and under no circumstances must waste be loaded into a moving vehicle. Do not attempt to complete the manoeuvre by reversing and stopping at each collection point. Some manoeuvres are more hazardous and require more care and attention when manoeuvring round corners or where there are hazards. Remember to apply stop. The assistant and the driver should assess the area, be aware of the hazards and then perform the manoeuvre. In such cases, parking and bringing the containers to the vehicle might be safer. Sometimes a driver is operating a vehicle on their own and will have to reverse without the availability of a reversing assistant, which is usually experienced in a commercial environment. 
The risk factors here are the same, albeit slightly different than those in residential collections. Most commercial collections are undertaken on a customer's premises, whereby a risk assessment has been conducted, identifying strict controls such as marked and segregated walkways, assigned collection points away from the pedestrian footprint, signage, access control or inductions. These can help reduce the risk alongside the visual aids fitted to the vehicle and driver competence. The manoeuvre should be performed in a slow and controlled manner. If the driver needs to exit the vehicle to observe the surroundings, they must ensure the keys are removed. Drivers are empowered to make decisions regarding their collection routes. If it is the opinion of the driver that safe collection cannot be achieved, then they must not proceed and inform the servicing depot with reasons as to why, so the customer can be informed and an investigation undertaken if necessary.